Hello and welcome to another fishing tutorial. In this episode, we're gonna look at how to catch carp with corn. So why is corn such a good carp fishing bait? I think it's mainly down to the bright coloration. A handful of corn on the lake bed is instantly seen by any passing fish. And as carp are a very inquisitive species, they will almost always take a closer look and often start feeding. We have found corn to be a particularly good bait on waters which see very little angling pressure. Each time we go carp fishing in the USA, we will always use corn as it has an instant feeding response from carp which have rarely seen anglers bait before. Corn is also very soft and easily digestible for the carp. Although fish don't get a whole load of nutrients from eating corn, it does pass through their digestive system very quickly, which means you don't need to worry about overfeeding the fish. The last reason for corn being an all-time favourite bait for many anglers is because it is so cheap. Most supermarkets will sell corn in either tins or kilogram bags. The larger bags are definitely the cheaper option. However, if you're willing to put a little bit more effort into the preparation of the baits, you can buy dried corn. This is normally available in 25 kilogram sacks and it is incredibly cheap. If you choose to use dried corn, it is important that you prepare it properly so it's safe for the carp to eat. Fill a container with your chosen amount of corn, cover with water and let it soak for 24 hours. Pour your water and soaked corn into a boiler. A larger boiler like this is ideal to boil large quantities of bait, although your kitchen saucepan will do. Boil for one hour or until the corn has soaked through with water and breaks apart easily like this. Drain off the water and it's ready to use for fishing. Now let's look at a simple corn rig. To tie this rig you'll need the following items. Some coated braid, a size eight or six Y gape X hook, a baiting needle, a stripper tool, a pair of scissors, bait stops, and lastly, you'll need a hook bait. Real corn will do fine, but if crayfish or turtles are a problem in your lake, then fake corn like this is a must. Take around 12 inches of braid off the spool. Next, you'll need to strip two inches of the coating back. Tie a small overhand loop knot in the stripped back supple section to create your hair loop. Thread your chosen hook bait onto a baiting needle. In this case, I'm using two pieces of fake corn. Thread your corn off the needle and onto the hair and secure it in place with a bait stop. Take the other end of the braid and thread it through the back of the eye of your hook. Now set the length of your hair. I normally leave a small gap between the hook and the bait for a little bit of natural movement. Now wrap the braid around the shank of the hook about 10 times before threading the braid back through the eye and pulling it down tight. In the other end of the braid, tie an overhand loop knot. You can now attach your hook link section to your chosen lead setup by pushing the loop through the swivel and putting your hook and bait through that same loop. Now pull down tight and you have a simple corn rig ready to cast out. A great way to add a little attraction to the hook bait is to attach a small PVA bag of loose offerings. A bag of small pellets or crushed boilies work perfectly. Now let's take a look at how to loose feed corn.
If you're fishing very close in, you can simply throw it out by hand. However, if you're planning to fish further out in the lake, you'll need the help of a few other bits of kit. A strong catapult with a large pouch is good for baiting up at medium distance, and if you are planning to fish further than 40 yards, it is necessary to use a spom. We'll often start a session by feeding 5 to 10 handfuls or spoms of corn, and after this initial baiting, we'll always top the swim up after every fish we catch. However, if the lake you're fishing holds nuisance fish, especially bream and tench, it's worth baiting up a little bit more often to ensure that there's always some bait there ready for when the carp come into your swim. When I arrive at the water, I'll first walk around the lake and bait up some spots. My personal favourite way to do this is by baiting up margin spots by hand. Fishing close in is always so exciting as you can keep an eye on the bait and often watch the fish feeding. Once three or four spots are baited, I'll simply keep an eye out on the areas until I see signs of fish feeding. This may include bubbling, tail patterns, fish jumping, or if the water is clear, you might even be able to watch the fish feeding on your bait. Once you have an idea of where the fish are, it's time to drop your rig in. Normally, when there are fish feeding on your bait, bites don't take long at all. Corn has caught us more fish than any other bait, and it's even helped us catch some of our biggest carp too. I hope you found this video useful. If you want to learn more about carp fishing, I definitely recommend clicking one of these videos here. Thanks for watching, we'll see you again soon.